Hi students, now we will discuss kinematics 1D motion part 2. In this particular video, we will discuss about kinematic terms, the remaining terms. Already in previous video, we already discussed vector scalar, distance, displacement on some applications on the basis of distance and displacement. In this video, we will discuss about speed, velocity and acceleration. This video is helpful to the students who are in foundation classes that is 6th, 7th, 8th standard and also this video helpful to uh, intermediate to public examination point of view and who is uh, studying intermediate first year. Uh, it may be either uh, state board or CBSE board. Let us start our video. I will start with speed. The kinematic term speed. Speed denoted by letter V. It can be defined as the actual distance, actual distance covered by an object in unit time. Actual distance covered by an object in unit time is called speed. Speed V is equal to actual distance denoted by letter S by unit time T. V is equal to S by T speed. And coming to average speed. Average speed V AVG average speed total distance defined as total distance covered by an object. Total distance covered by an object in total time. If you observe the difference, speed, actual distance covered by an object in unit time, speed, V by T. But here, average speed means total distance. What is the total distance? that object is covered by unit by total time is nothing but average speed suppose any object covered a distance like this s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 initial position final position so here speed average formula speed avg is equal to distance total by time total Suppose for from here to here S1 time taken as T1, for S2 time taken as T2, for S3 T3, for S4 T4. Uh, in this way, the time interval taken by the particle. Now the formula become S1 plus, S2 plus, S3 plus and so on. S suffix n number of distances traveled by a particle by T1 plus, T2 plus, T3 plus and so on. T suffix n. So this is the formula. Average speed total distance covered by an object in total time taken average speed speed is a scalar quantity obviously why because distance is scalar we already discussed in previous video distance scalar distance upon time is nothing but speed so that speed is a scalar quantity there is no particular direction different different directions you can observe here so that speed is a scalar quantity only it has only magnitude it do not have particular direction if I write SI units, easy to write SI units, distance upon time, distance, SI units meter per time, SI unit is second. Meter per second is the SI unit. If I write dimensional formula, this is SI unit. Now dimensional formula. Identification MLT. M0, there is no mass. L meter, L1, T second, 1 by S, S inverse, T power minus 1. Or simply you can write L T power minus 1. L T power minus 1 is the dimensional formula. Obviously here uh, there is no difference speed, distance upon time, SI units, dimensional formula. And coming to velocity, we will discuss the term velocity. Denote the letter V bar, velocity V bar. It can be defined as rate of change of displacement or 
स्पीड इन ए पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन स्पीड इन ए पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन इज कॉल्ड वेलोसिटी तो रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेलोसिटी वी बॉर कैन बी रिटर्न एस फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन डेल्टा एस बॉर बाय डेल्टा टी डेल्टा एस बॉर इंडिकेट्स दैट चेंज इन डिस्प्लेसमेंट मींस द फॉर्मूला डिस्प्लेसमेंट फाइनल सफिक्स एफ फाइनल माइनस डिस्प्लेसमेंट इनिशियल बाय डेल्टा टी चेंज इन टाइम टाइम फाइनल माइनस टाइम इनिशियल सपोज इनिशियल डिस्प्लेसमेंट टेकन एज 0 मीटर एंड इनिशियल टाइम टेकन एज 0 देन द फार्मूला बिकम s bar by t simply we can write v bar is equal to s bar by t now if i write si unit s bar again meter si unit for displacement also meter for time second meter per second and coming to dimensional formula identification is mlt m mass no mass is there l length indicates that meter l1 t 1 by s s inverse second t power minus 1 m m not L1 t power minus 1 is the dimensional formula. If you observe, SI units and dimensional formula remain same in case of speed and velocity. Okay, no difference. Dimensional formula and SI units remain same for both cases. And coming to average velocity. If you observe average velocity, V bar AVG. We can define average velocity as Change in displacement by total time taken or total, you can write net displacement, net displacement, sorry, by Total time taken is nothing but displacement or you can write change in displacement in a total time is nothing but average velocity. Suppose uh, imagine the same diagram, same situation, if you observe this is the initial one initial velocity this is final velocity sorry initial displacement final displacement if i draw a straight path we will observe that displacement initial s initial s final we can observe that straight line net displacement we will get but the time interval remains same time interval this time what is the time taken by the body through the actual path the time interval remains same even for the velocity the same time interval will come so that here v bar avg average velocity is equal to net displacement sf displacement final minus displacement initial by total time taken by the body time total this is the formula so here you have to write sf minus si sf minus si what is the total time like t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on t suffix n to understand this i will do one example don't worry a boy covered a distance a to b that is 300 meter he took 2 minute 20 second to cover 300 meter and returns to point C 100 meter and he is taking reverse U turn and again covered 100 meter for that he took 1 minute find speed and velocity questions given from A to B and from A to C according to data the situation will be like this a b the length of the path given 300 meter 300 meter length of the path a to b and again he taking back turn he covered 100 meter 100 meter this is the point c this is the point c 
so if you observe the formula average speed average speed v is equal to distance total by time total i am solving question number 1 roman 1 distance total by time total roman 1 means from a to b a to b what is the total distance a to b a to b 100 meter so 100 sorry 300 meter 300 by total time taken from a to b is 2 minute 20 second so no you should convert this into completely seconds minutes you have to convert into second why because while doing simplification the units must be any similar units so 300 meter if i convert 2 minute plus 20 seconds 2 minutes 2 into 60 seconds plus 20 seconds 2 into 60 120 Plus twenty total one fifty seconds I got so time total time is one fifty seconds time total one fifty seconds one fifty one fifty in three hundred two times cancel so you will get two meter per second is the answer in straight line motion we already discussed the previous video in straight line motion distance is equal to displacement and also speed v is equal to velocity v bar as distance equal to displacement. And also speed v is equal to velocity v bar only for straight line motion. So that here average velocity also same answer will come. Change in displacement final position to the initial position 300 only 300 by total time taken 2 minute 20 seconds only that is 150 seconds 150. Again here you will get 2 meter per second will come. Understand? This is question number one. Now we will solve question number two. From A to C, question number two, A to C. First, I will find speed, speed average, distance total by time total. What is the total distance covered by the boy A to C? A to B, three hundred. Plus B to C hundred total four hundred actual path covered by a body in unit time so S total three three hundred plus hundred by time total time taken to reach A to B is one fifty seconds plus for this hundred meter he took one minute that means sixty seconds one fifty plus sixty here four hundred by two ten will come zero zero get cancelled or you can leave it like this no problem. Okay, forty by twenty-one. You will get. This is speed. If you want to simplify it, you can simplify. It. Otherwise, leave it. In case of descriptive point of view, no problem. Next, if you observe velocity, average velocity, displacement total, or change in displacement by time total. Total time taken by the body. What is the change in displacement? This is initial. This is final now. If you observe 300 meter, he returned back 100 meter. You have to consider this much distance. 100 meter eliminated. So that 300 minus 100, you will get 200. So 200 by total time remains same. Total time from A to C, actual path covered by an object. Total time is even for displacement. You have to consider total time. Understand? Even for velocity also. What is the total time? 210 is the total time. So you will get finally 20 divided by 21 meter per second here 40 by 21 meter per second. Now we will discuss some applications. Applications. Application number one: a body traveling between. two positions first half of a distance with speed v1 and next half of distance With the speed v two, then find average speed. 
have to find average speed for the situation according to data if i draw a reference diagram a body traveling between two positions i consider two positions as a and b let us consider a comma b are the two positions a b two positions first half a to b i treated as x x is the length actual path from a to b first half means x by 2 for the half x by 2 this of x by 2 first half it is covered with a speed v1 speed v1 given next half means x by 2 again speed v2 given we have to find average speed if i write the formula average speed total distance s total by time total total distance by total time taken here total distance is x only total time taken must be for this half for this half understand in the in this kind of scenario you have to observe one thing here we are dealing with three quantities speed distance and a time distance x speed v1 v2 and a time here which one is not given generally you have to write that quantity you have to eliminate that quantity here time not given so if i write time t1 for this half i treat time as t1 t1 is equal to what is the formula speed v is equal to distance upon time if i cross multiply it what is time time t is equal to s by v will come so distance upon velocity time t1 is equal to what is the distance here x by 2 is the distance and velocity is v1 or you can write x by 2 v1 and over here time t2 for this half remaining half p2 is equal to x by 2 v2 will come now i got t1 and t2 now simply substitute in the formula distance total by time total what is the distance total x only what is the time total that is t1 plus t2 x by what is t1 t1 is x by 2 v1 plus t2 x by 2v2 now can i take x common in the denominator denominator x by x taken common 1 by 2v1 plus 1 by 2v2 x and x get cancelled by simplifying it if i take lcm here do lcm for this part i will do lcm here 2v1 into 2v2 will come 2v1 2v1 times cancel 2v2 is there plus 2v2 2vt cancel 2v1 here if i take 2 common 2 into v1 plus v2 will be there by 2v1 2v2 1 2 1 2 cancel so finally we got the result as 1 1 is there in the numerator denominator v1 plus v2 by 2v1 v2 it can be reciprocal this is fraction it is reciprocal finally we will get 2v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 okay this is the answer so in this scenario we can use directly this result next we will discuss another application a body traveled between two positions traveled first half of time with speed v1 and the next half of time with the speed v2 then find average speed according to given scenario here a time interval remains same if i draw a reference diagram between two positions a to b are the two positions total distance taken as x x is the total distance first half of the time means here two different distances not may be equal okay no need to equal x1 x by 2 x by 2 not like that no need to equal this half and this half it may be x1 it may be x2 no problem so total distance x is equal to x1 plus x2 understand here a body travel between two position a and b 
फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ टाइम विथ स्पीड वी वन स्पीड गिवेन वी वन सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ टाइम विथ स्पीड वी टू यर विच वन नॉट गिवेन डिस्टेंस नॉट गिवेन एक्स वन नॉट गिवेन एक्स टू नॉट गिवेन सो वी हेव टू एलिमिनेट एक्स वन अंड एक्स टू I treat total distance a to be x. Okay, so t1 given and also t2 given, but uh, according to given data, t1 is equal to t2 is equal to t. t1 is equal to t2 is equal to t. Time interval remains same. Which one not given? That one you have to eliminate. So here x1 not given. Can I write x1 is equal to x1 distance velocity into time? Yes. Velocity v1 given, time t1 given, and here x2 is equal to velocity v2 time t2. We can write. Now I eliminated which one is not given. That one that is x distance is not given. Now apply the formula. What is the formula to find speed? Speed average, average speed distance total by time total. Total distance traveled by a body in total time. What is distance total? Distance total. Can I say for the x x one plus x two is distance total? So x one plus x two by time total t one plus t two total time is t one plus t two. Now can I write x x one is v one t one? Yes, v one t one plus x two v two t two whole divided by t one plus t two. But what is condition given? Half intervals of time. Time intervals remain same. So that finally you can take t comma why because t is equal to t one t two is equal to t remains same so v one plus v two into t by t plus t two t t and t get cancelled finally you will get v one plus v two by two so average speed when over the time interval remains same. on the basis of our applications we will do one example a boy walks to his school at a distance of 6 km with a constant speed of 2.5 km per hour and walks back with a constant speed of 4 km per hour his average speed for the round trip expressed in km per hour is so it is something like this A to B. He started here. His school is here. School. He is moving with uh, total distance given six kilometer. While he is moving towards the school, his speed is taken as v1. I consider 2.5 kilometer per hour v1 kilometer per hour. And again, he is come back backward four kilometer per hour. Walks back with a constant speed four kilometer per hour. So that is v2. Four kilometer per hour. We can simply use the formula to find average speed to v1, v2 by v1 plus v2. When our first half distance, second half distance remain same. Speed intervals not same. Speed not same. So that you can use this formula. First half a to b, b to a second half. Speed different speeds given. So you can use this trick. Two into what is v1? Two into two point five into V2 is 4 divided by V1 2.5 plus 4. 2 into 5. 2 into 5. 5. 5 fours are 20. Is or no? Finally, we will get 2.5. This become 5.0. 2 into 2.5 into 4. So no need to write after. Decimal. No need to write zero. So five fours are twenty. Here six point five will come. Five fours are twenty. Twenty by six point five or two hundred by sixty five. If you want to simplify it, you can simplify. Uh, five table four times zero. Five table one time three times. So forty by thirteen. Average speed forty divided by thirteen is the answer. Thank you. Please subscribe.